Hello everyone, it's Tony, and I'm back with another one of your wedding requests. Now, Kimmy sent me a picture of this gorgeous wedding centerpiece, and I just had to recreate this because it has all of my favorite colors. It's elegant, it's romantic, and it looks very extravagant. Now, Kimmy wanted these pieces to be tall, above eye level, and she wanted to use artificial flowers. Of course, what I really love about this piece is the beautiful silver stands. After looking online, I see that you can get these tall stands from 24 inches to about 30 inches from $50 to $70 each. Or if you buy in bulk, you can get 20 inch pieces for between $15 and $17 each. But if you have some time and a little bit of effort, I can show you how to make your own tall stand for about $5 each. And the stand with the flowers for about $17. Now whenever I go to Goodwill, I'm always able to find some really nice pieces. I found some nice silver candlestick holders for just $1.50 each. And I'm gonna use three of these to make one tall 24 inch flower stand. You can also look at thrift stores as a really nice source to find these pieces. And depending on how many tables you need, like I said, it might take a little time to find them, but it'll be worth it to have nice, beautiful silver pieces on your table. And if you find real silver that's old and tarnished, you can clean it up really easy with bright silver cream. So like I said, I'm gonna combine three pieces together to make one large, tall piece. You could use E6000 or epoxy to glue this together to make it permanent, but right now I'm gonna use the hot glue gun because I want to reuse these as candlesticks. I wanna be able to break them apart. If you use the hot glue, it should hold pretty strong and should work really well for your wedding tables, but if you apply a lot of force, it will come apart, or if it falls, it could break apart. But if you want to break these apart, it's real easy to change these back to candle stands by just peeling the hot glue off. There's also an industrial strength hot glue stick by Gorilla Glue if you want to use the hot glue gun and have a stronger hold. But now that I put these pieces together, I'm going to work on a beautiful floral arrangement for the top. To make my floral arrangement from Dollar Tree, I picked up two dry floral foams and the prettiest purple silk flowers I could find. I'm going to start by hot gluing the two floral foams together to make sort of a nice ball shape. Then I'm going to hot glue that to the top of the stand. Now in Kimmy's photo, there are dark violet pieces at the bottom of the floral arrangement. So I'm gonna start with my dark pieces and work my way up. I'm using these dark Dollar Tree cattails. With some wire cutters, I'm cutting these a little short and I'm gonna push them in at an angle around the base, evenly spaced around. So that's one bunch. I'm gonna put a second bunch up a little bit higher in between those um, spaces. This bunch I'm leaving the long grassy sprays on. Next I'm using the Dollar Tree Dark Purple Mini Daisies. And I'm cutting these really short and I'm spreading a bunch around the bottom and another two bouquets around the whole piece. Next, I'm going to use two bouquets of purple hydrangeas. I'm cutting the stem short and I'm putting them together in three stem groups. Next, I'm using one bouquet of violet pansies. I'm going to scatter the different violet pansies evenly around the piece. Now for my purple roses. I'm going to push everything in to make a nice round ball first. And then I'm gonna cut the roses a little bit longer because I want them to stand out a little more. 
and I'm going to use two bouquets of roses placed evenly around the ball. And finally I'm going to use one more bouquet of cattails to place a few pieces up at the top of this arrangement. And now with $11 worth of flowers I have a piece that's similar to the one in the picture. In Kimmy's photo there were also silver candle stands. You can easily make something similar by gluing a large Dollar Tree floral bowl onto another candlestick holder. Or you could do something like this. I'm going to use these large Dollar Tree wine glasses and I'm going to use a sheet of paper to tape off the top of the glass. And using Krylon looking glass spray paint, I'm going to spray the bottom fourth of two glasses in the stems. The looking glass spray paint gives it a real shiny mirror finish. If you want, you could even put a few glasses together and make a stand by spray painting the whole thing with the looking glass spray paint. But the looking glass spray paint is a little expensive. It's about $12 a can. But here's another option you can try for the stands. I'm using some tumblers that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to glue these together like I did the candlesticks. But since these are light, these are plastic, I'm going to add some um, clear beads to them to give them some weight inside one of the cups and make a nice tall piece. Then instead of using a looking glass spray paint, I'm going to use this Krylon metallic silver paint. It costs about $3 a can. I'm going to spray a couple of glasses and a tall piece. I want to put these side by side so you can see the difference. The regular metal um, spray paint has a dull a dollar finish. It's more like a brush metal and the looking glass has a shiny mirror finish. So now let's sit everything out on the table. Add some pretty purple candles to the glasses just like in the photo. Add some extra flowers on the table. I had a glass bowl that I did the mercury glass effect on. You could click in the link above to see how I did that mercury glass look. And I'm going to use the other candle holder I made with the silver candlestick and the bowl as another flower bowl to add some more flowers to the table. But with this look you can find all kinds of nice little silver antique pieces and bowls that you could use to dress up each table uniquely. And since you're hunting at the thrift stores, You'll be spending very little on each piece for a very expensive look. And here's the other option using the tumblers and the regular metallic paint. So Kimmy, I hope this helps with your wedding next year. And I think you'll have plenty of time to collect some beautiful pieces to make your wedding look fantastic while saving a lot. Now you can get our metallic acrylic craft paint and eight shimmering colors available now at Amazon.com. Follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Snapchat at Your Hustle Home and Your Hustle Home TV for daily home, food, and gardening tips.